after part two of making a racing mower. This um, old Victor here. So today I'd like to get a custom um, throttle pedal on. I'm going to use the brake pedal for that. And hopefully that'll fix our issue of the um, governor making the engine surge, sur surge. I think it's the governor. If not, I can get a cheap um, carburetor off eBay. I also want to try and fully swap it just from the um, transmission to the top of the jack shaft because that looks like the easiest way to do it but because from the engine to the bottom of the jack shaft there's the clutch on the front and it looks a bit I'd have to move the whole clutch around all right my idea for the throttle pedal is the brake pedal it doesn't work look you press it and it only goes in that far so I was thinking about making this the brake the um, deck height adjuster so you can brake brake you know because all the stuff is there for it, and it's they're all really close. So if I make the brake pedal, it's at the perfect height for a throttle, I reckon. If I just put a cable there to there, run it round the back, front of the engine, and then onto the carby up under there, make a bracket here to hold it, I reckon that should fix our issues and override the governor so we'll go quicker. I'm going to have to seal the brakes off my um, motor bike sort of thing because the back brakes, they don't work really anyway. So I'll steal these cables off. That's perfect. It's got all the um, little attachments and everything. So I'll pull that off. Should be long enough to wrap under there. So I robbed the cable off a bike. Um, I don't know if I should use the um, actual brake pedal off it as the accelerator because all the gear is already there and then I can keep the brake instead of having a hand one. I might do that but this cable is just long enough by a couple inches. It goes there under the engine past the um, exhaust which is definitely going to be changed anyway. Alright I've decided to go with the other option. I took the brake handle off now. She'll sit about there, whatever angle I want. And I've got this old chair that was getting chucked out and it's perfect. So I sit that there, weld it onto the frame. It'll hold that. And because that pokes out at the back as well and it pulls, well, it's gonna be closer. So I'll have heaps more room to work with, which will be good. I'll just cut this little piece out and it'll sit somewhere like that or, you know, and then the, bike thing will slip over it. So it'll go over like this, that slips in there, just like that. And then that'll weld there, and we've got a throttle. Grab all my welding stuff out, and we'll um, put a couple tacks on that little holder for the throttle. Got to clean the um, surface off where I'm welding, which should be about, I'll we'll just stay there. I decided to cut a piece out of this and then weld the pipe to it so then there's more surface here where the pipe's connected and this is a thicker metal so I don't blow through the pipe because it's pretty thin walled so I reckon this will be how I'm going to do it I'll cut a piece out of this roughly the same size and then we'll weld it on Got it all welded. It is definitely not very good. That probably the best weld just there. Then the rest to put blowing holes through, but it's solid. It's not not coming off. So now I weld this to the mower, and I'll put my throttle on. All right. So it's aching the um air filter body off. There's just two screws on the back here. They undo like that, pull out. It's a bit hard to get into this one. 
and then the air filter, like housing, should just pop off like that. This is the carby. This is the governor assembly there. And what we're going to do is take that off and make a bracket to hook onto the throttle under there. So on the top of the governor is two 8mm bolts. They unscrew. And then you've got the whole governor assembly just there. So this is how I set it up. It's a very dodgy way, but it works and it's not going to come off, I don't think. Very solid. Because the wire's wrapped, just wrapped around that hole, then up through another hole. And it's kind of just like wrapped around like that, you know. Then I'll, I'll get on to making the bracket that'll just go there and full throttle off. And then I've got a little spring here somewhere too. If I can find that here, that can go somewhere like from there, you know. I'll make a bracket for it, but from there to there or something. There you go. Now I'm making this little plate and it goes over the top of this with a lip down the back and then the um, cable will come through the lip and, you know, do its business. So I've got to cut the brake cable down, or the accelerator now, so it fits and it hasn't got heaps of excess and to fix that end up because it's all frayed and not very nice. So I've made a little cut just there. Now I'm going to pull the wire out and cut it through. Break that through the end and just slide it through. So this is the little plate I've made up. It sits there. The um, cable will go through that, hook onto there, put a little hole in for the spring so it returns. Might be strong enough, I hope it is. And then I'll just thread this little attachment I guess through there and it'll all hold it in. So I've got it all done. I reckon she looks pretty good. Got that all there, two springs on it. Comes out there, round under the engine. So I've pulled the carpet apart again. What's new? But look at the float, ready? Hear it? Don't know if you can, but there's a hole in it. Ready, watch the little bit of fuel come out. It was like spurting out before. And that's why this morning I got up to start it and I pulled it and I pulled it and I went, oh no, it's seized. And then I went, oh, there's liquid coming out the exhaust. And then I went, oh, it's hydrolock by its own fuel. Because the float bowl, the float had filled up with fuel and just kept letting fuel through the carby into the engine slowly. But over 12 hours or so, it's filled the cylinders up. Yeah, so I've got, given it all a clean. There was one or two little block bits in there. All right, so because it's a um, like a copper, oh, sorry, brass float, I can solder a little bit of solder into the pinhole crack. So that'll be good, fix that up. And in the meantime, I want to get the brakes going on this. And I'm actually really happy that the wheels on this mower come off, unlike my mower, which, which they don't come off. They're seized on. And there's one wheel, and here's the brakes under there. It's like a little rotor, and you've got to tighten this bolt down, I'm pretty sure, to tighten them. So my soldering iron's nice and hot. I'm going to fill the hole with solder now. shaft from under here. There's the top and there's the bottom. Alright, it's all clean. Now they just go on the way they came off. So this time I got it driving. It wasn't um, fluctuating in the um, idle or the revs. It was going quite well but it was very touchy. It was either <laughs> pretty much full throttle or idle. So that's the only problem. I think I've, it's just a bigger switch. I need a bigger spring because my foot's so heavy it just on or off. On or off. It's not kind of touchy. Brakes, yeah, can't say much about the brakes. And when you get about a certain RPM, it burns oil. Like, have a look at this. All that, you probably can't see, but all that down there, once you rev it up a bit too high, 
it's just white smoke and oil everywhere. So, I don't know if that's coming from the blow-by or leaking past the pistons. No idea.